okay so we're going to be building this card component today so the card so this is the component that we're going to be building so without any further ado let's quickly get started if you're new to the channel please start like and subscribe so i'm starting with the container to hold everything inside there i'm going to have a card i'm going to have a div and instead i'm going to have a class of card Inside this class of card, I'm going to have the card container. So div class card dash container. Then inside here, we're going to have a h2, which has this. But before we have that h2, what we need to also do that we also happen to have an image. Image dot slash images slash icon cigarettes not svg then we're gonna have the paragraph of what's inside here the final files are in the description down below if you want the text and stuff so what we're just gonna do is i'm just gonna duplicate this card paste luxury then we're gonna paste okay sorry so it's all to be suvs suvs copy paste exit inside the container let's still add one last card which is the luxury card duplicate this copy Paste luxury luxury. So save if we save this and if we view this file in the browser, we should get something like this. What you saw before is the final files of what we're going to be building and i actually recorded this video before but i'm recording it again because the file didn't save so i'm applying a few styles which are, i'm getting this one from google fonts this is in the style guide by the way so that's not hard and i'm applying the font right here so save and fresh i don't know why that isn't applying fonts has it been linked up to it so okay sorry let's link it up style the css so these are just a base on base styles flex justify content centers on the x-axis and that's on the y-axis and makes it take the full height and doesn't take the full height by default so cool and also has that phones so what we're going to do is i want to do the container display of flex width of 900 900 pixels so before we keep on continuing the card we're going to give you card dash one card dash two just so that it makes it simpler for you card dash two so the css R dash one first of all all cards should have a color of white and card dash one should have a background a background of bright orange save okay so okay sorry sorry for that i'm going to call the background of bright orange all cards we usually want to give them a padding of 40 pixels save and i have that nice padding and one more thing that i'll do for letting that all of them have a button class of uh, submit i'm gonna use a card of btn dash one so copy make sure this is inside the card container so let's move it in to the card 
hex this let's bring this back into the inside here but into both car 2 or just btn 2 make sure it's in the card container so that's going to be important and in fact it's better for us to give the card container class that part so card dash container padding or typical I just think it's sincerely better that way and card paragraph we're going to give it a margin top of 40 pixels and a margin bottom of about 60 and the reason is because here is there's much space here and there's less space here we have something like that if we count we could we could extend the figures maybe give it i don't know could make this 80 pixels okay now that i've gone this let's do this for the card two so card dash two i'm gonna give the card dash two mm -hmm. a wait, wait, wait i just want to just check something okay yeah this is recording so i'm gonna give the card dash two this dark cyan color in the background so card dash three background and uh we're gonna give it very dark sign and if you download starter files is called artists okay boom so everything has okay command so let's do the button so the button we're gonna give it a padding of about 15 pixels border none outline none and uh width of 120 pixels background white so the padding when you're always tying the button the padding is one of the most important things so we have to get the padding right the border you don't want any border you don't want any power right? Ah, so you have something like this so we can give it border action so right not in caps border dash radius uh 20 pixels feel 20 pixels is too small 50. okay nice we have that nice coverture does it say submit it doesn't say submit it says learn more learn You can see it says learn more. So the reason why these guys, these those guys have BTN one, BTN two, because we're gonna give them different colors, so just like the cards. So BTN dash one, we're gonna give the color of uh, this. Put the dash, please. So BTN dash two color. Color is the background with the second card. Uh, btn dash three four uh, yes let's put this so we all of them will have that one more thing is to add a hover effect so button colon hover i'm gonna say uh the background should be transparent and the color should be white and we want to transition it so transition is just going to make it like as in make everything slow or we could add make it one second so you're just going to make it feel slower like it's easy to so let me show you okay that makes it feel slow okay and we could just make add a border of two pixels solid white which will make it feel better okay like you can see even the thickness of the border is even animated so what we want to do now is just have, just want to just give this border here border here border here no no border here border here border here border here so on the top card 
border left and border bottom left buy on the last card border right so in the first card border top dash left radius 15 pixels and we're gonna make this bottom as well why on the last card we're gonna copy this on the last card is gonna be border right so if we look at this in the browser okay now so here has been applied here has been applied here has been applied so what we just have to just do now is make this responsive so what we do is i check as you can see it's not responsive for mobile devices so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a set of styles when the device reports is less than a certain amount of pixels so max width we're going to say seven pixels 760 pixels so this means when the device reports is less than 760 pixels if this was mean width which would mean when it's above so we want to be max because when we're doing below 760 pixels what do we want at this point our container we want to change it to flex direction color so if we do that you can see colon makes it like vertical row makes it like a row cool. and one more thing we have to give it a margin of not margin of general margin of 20 pixels because if you look at the mobile design there's look there's some space here and if you look that space is not applied properly so boom now we have that space so let's remove the bottom margin and add it to the left so card dash one border dash okay let's just copy and paste it to save time so this is the one that i want to remove the bottom one right so the bottom one i'm just going to put zero pixels copy paste then we want to add to the right so 10 or rather we were adding 15. So, okay, now we have properly removed it from here and added it here. So, what we want to do is, I want to remove this top and add it to the bottom. Card dash three. Okay, well, what do we want to do here? Okay, the bottom one is the one, the, is it the bottom one? It's the top one that we want to remove. The top one. Top one, put it here. So top zero pixels, come paste and attach to the bottom left. Okay, so now we okay, it has successfully removed from the but it hasn't added there. Okay, we are adding 15, 15. we're adding zero here. So now we refresh as soon as that is the project for you we are finished building this okay it expands properly then goes to a mobile so if we remove it we will see the nice hover effects i hope the borders were not confusing though just take your momentum and try to understand it's kind of self-explanatory border top left border bottom left bottom right border right border top right border bottom right 15 pixels 15 pixels 15 pixels 15 pixels and when we came to mobile we removed the bottom left which was here and we added top right what we did here was that we removed the top right and we added bottom left as you can see here it corresponds to the code removing the top removing the bottom left adding top right removing the top right adding bottom left so hope everything okay you can tell me if i was too fast in the comment section down below i just tried to explain the one that might be confusing for you guys so overall 
it's an easy and nice challenge to try out so thank you for watching please subscribe if you want the code you can tell me in the comment section now maybe i'll drop it in the comments in the pinned comments so thanks for watching please subscribe